<clears throat> Alright, hey, shalom, makim, shalom. As always, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise to our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakudash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone that have taught us his truth and that rule well. Alright, and peace and blessings go out to the hopeful members of the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that are in the hopes of receiving salvation during the time of Jacob's trouble and that are worshiping the Heavenly Father in spirit and in truth, okay? Now, this will be a fairly uh, quick video just regarding, you know, the title, the lesson of walking in wisdom, okay? And especially, all right, just like Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians 5 and if I'm not mistaken, 15, in the 15th verse, all right? to walk circumspectly meaning always watching your surroundings and applying wisdom in whatever scenario that you find yourself in because we're living in some evil times okay and when that epistle was run, uh, written it was what 2000 years ago all right so how much more so in this generation where wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth all right and i also wanted to bring out this um article that i looked up uh this morning because, you know, as brothers know, we're in the, uh, the time and the season where Esau and these other nations, all right, as well as Jake, of course, love to worship, uh, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, New Year's Eve, Christmas, all that, you know, all the holy days on the left hand side. All right. And as these celebrations come closer and closer. All right. The stress levels of the so-called Americans skyrocket all right because not only does it get busy at work all right but they're subject onto trying to buy you know their loved ones gifts and whatnot and that does nothing but puts burdens upon the backs of these uh, americans okay and what does that do it makes them break at any instance of their day all right and as men of the Lord, we ought to be using wisdom at every given second of our day, okay? No matter how great or small, all right, the situation that you're in, always apply wisdom, Akyam, all right? Just like it tells you in the book of, um, as a matter of fact, let me grab that scripture first. Sirach 5 and 15. It says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small all right and that reminds me of the book of first peter the fifth chapter okay how uh satan is a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour all right and satan is all right an angel of the heavenly father that works in all levels in all aspects okay it could be on a physical a spiritual or you know like i said all avenues can this devil all right work to ultimately try and eat you all right but as men of the lord we have weapons of warfare that are mighty all right to the tearing down of strongholds okay just like it tells in the book of ephesians the sixth chapter all right to put on the whole armor of what righteousness all right using wisdom knowledge and understanding as a number one uh source of defense okay not getting carnal because like it tells in romans the eighth chapter um, being carnal, carnally minded is enmity with the Lord, okay? The Heavenly Father wants us to use what he's given us, all right, to defend ourselves. So from there, let's go uh, to the article. It says, um, key stress statistics, all right? <clears throat> it says, the current stress levels, so lucky, let me make this turn by Americans is 20%, I'm sorry, it's 20% points higher than the global average, okay? And this is what, an article that was dated March 30th of 2022, all right? So how much more now in this, all right, year where the devaluation of the dollar is happening, okay? Food, the cost of living in America, is way higher than last year okay 
So those numbers are, you know, probably doubled, okay? So what does that mean? Like I said earlier, these Americans are at their breaking point when it comes to them falling down and just being in a spirit of just letting loose, okay? And you do not want to be the last straw on their back, all right, that's going to break them, okay? Once again, using wisdom because we're living in a time where the days are evil. Ephesians 5 and... Uh, let me start at 14. It says, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. Okay? And this is what we have been given. So, uh, excuse me. As the Heavenly Father has endowed us with the Holy Spirit. Okay? We've had our pure mind stirred back to the way of remembrance that we're Israelites. And now it is our duty, all right, to shine our candlestick on the hills. Just like it tells in the book of what? Um, Matthew's the fifth chapter. All right. Verse 15, it says, see then that you walk circumspectly. Okay. And as a matter of fact, uh, let's grab, <coughs> excuse me, let's grab this scripture in the blue letter and look that, uh, that word <coughs> circumspectly up. Even driving, you know, driving is a, you know, of course, as a brother is doing a, a in transit, it's not the best idea, but I'm just heading to the gym, which is like a four minute, uh, five, four minute drive. So, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, got here safe. All right. But of course, if you're going on the freeway, you know, if you're going long distance, use wisdom. Okay. And be circumspect. <laughs> All right. Because even in this time of year, a lot more accidents happen. So for the word circumspectly, it goes back to the strong G199, Akribos, okay? And it says exactly, accurately, diligently, okay? Diligent in what? Applying wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? Boom. It says to live carefully, deviating in no respect from the law of duty. All right. Let's see what the root word says. It says exact, careful of the strictest sect, the most precise and rigorous in interpreting the Mosaic law and in observing even the more minute precepts of the law and tradition. OK, which, of course, were not justified by the law, statutes and commandments. All right. But now our justification of righteousness goes by having faith in Yahweh Shai. Okay, and by that allotment, our duty is to, you know, pursuing to what Yahweh Shai said. And um, if I'm not mistaken, that should be John, the 13th chapter. But it also says in James, the second chapter. Okay. Loving your brother. All right. And fearing the heavenly father by you doing those acts. Okay. You justify yourself in the eyes of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai of you being holy. Okay. And a part of that is being circumspect, okay? It says, um, matter of fact, yeah, that's the point. So let's read that scripture again. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, all right? Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, okay? And like I said, we're living in a time where, all right, the times are very uh, evil, man, okay? Every turn you make, every block you turn into, you see nothing but wickedness, okay? And even <laughs> in front of me, there's a brolic Jake, all right? It's cold as hell out, but yet he has some short shorts on, all right? He has his head lined up, okay? Through, okay? But of course, we understand that we got to apply wisdom. I'm not just going to come up to the man and just, you know, go out. No, all right? Apply wisdom, treat him as your equal, all right? Of course he isn't, but that's a part of you using wisdom, man, okay? Even understanding the circumstances that our forefathers were in, okay? Case in point, Lot. Lot was in a society where wickedness was at a very high level, all right? 
dwelling among sodomites. You can't imagine the things that Lot was seeing on a day-to-day base, man. Okay? But what did he use to stay and dwell in that city? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Okay? Of course, he was vexed by the filthy conversations of the wicked. But by him using wisdom and having faith in the Heavenly Father, he was delivered out of that city. Okay? Same thing that's going to happen with us as we are living in Babylon the Great that is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Okay? So from there, I want to grab Colossians 4 and 5. It says... Um, As a matter of fact, let me start at 2. It says, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Okay? And that's another instrument of war that we got to exercise. Okay? Just like the beloved apostle Racha always, um, you know, gets on brothers on. Okay? Denoting the understanding of all we use in prayer. Okay? When you wake up, thank the Heavenly Father. The water you One of the first things that we ought to do is to pray to the Heavenly Father, man. First thing that we do, all right, as we, you know, shake our head and wake up, is pray to the Most High, okay? When you go out and drive, pray to the Heavenly Father, okay? It says, verse 3, With all praying also for us, that the Heavenly Father would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Yahweh Shai, for which I am also in bonds, okay? And that's all, you know, another thing to pray for brothers, okay? Understanding that you're not the, <clears throat> excuse me, understanding that you're not the only one walking where death is right behind you, okay? It says, verse 4, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Verse 5, this is the point. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time okay now let me read it in the nlt it says live wisely among those who are not believers okay and make the most of every opportunity why because everything that you go through on a day-to-day -day base all right is ultimately set by the heavenly father to see whether or not you're gonna move on a carnal aspect or whether you're whether you're gonna lean upon the heavenly father and walk after the spirit, man. Okay? Everything that you go through on a day-to-day -day base, all right, is for you to grow or to decrease, man. Okay? And you got to look at it like that. Okay? Verse 6. Um, right. Back in the KJV, it says, Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt. Okay, meaning that your your speech, okay, the way that you talk has to be sprinkled with what? Wisdom, okay? And real quick, let's look up the word salt. Let's see what that says. Strong's G217, uh, under the third definition, and that word is alas or halas. It says salt is a symbol of lasting concord because it protects food from pu uh, putrefaction and preserves it unchanged, okay? And that's what we're using on a day-to-day -day base, man, all right? Like I said, salt being symbolic for wisdom of the scriptures, okay? And as we're talking, what does it do? It preserves our souls from the said peril that is in front of us, okay? Words are very powerful, just like Esau likes to use the term spelling, okay? Okay? You're casting a spell of either wisdom, knowledge, and understanding or carnally, okay? And they both yield a fruit. One being on a spiritual aspect of you growing or another fruit that is corruptible, okay? And the fourth definition hits the, um, the nail right in the head. Wisdom and grace exhibited in speech, okay? prudence figuratively so reading it again it says let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer every man okay always being circumspect and then by you doing so applying the scriptures okay not just jumping 
you know, straight to conclusion, all right, and doing this, that, and the third, always understanding, and then after that, applying the scriptures, okay, just like it tells you in, um, I think that's Sirach, the 11th chapter, let's grab that real quick, Yep, this is Sirach uh, 11, or Ecclesiasticus 11, and we can start at 7. It says, blame not before that has examined the truth. Understand first, and then rebuke, okay? Answer not before thou has heard the cause, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk, okay? And the book of Sirach is a beautiful uh, book that emphasizes the point of what walking in wisdom truly is about okay it's a very beautiful book to read it's pretty much like a book of psalms going back to colossians 4 and as a matter of fact that was the point so from there i want to grab uh, one more scripture and then um, we'll close this is the book of Sirach or ecclesiastes 13 and 13 it says observe all right as a matter of fact let's look up the word observe real quick <clears throat> uh, under the edamon definition of observe for the verb uh, connotation it says to hold to a manner of life or course of conduct okay carry out the dictates of attend to in practice all right to observe, watch over, follow. And that reminds you of the um, the scripture in Ephesians 5 and 15 that we just read, okay? Of walking circumspectly because the days are evil, all right? Observing is synonymous for that. Because what are you, you know, watching over? The spirits that you see in these people, okay? We live in a society where everybody is bombarded with nothing but... A bunch of demons inside the man okay and the only way to protect yourself from them is by using the weapons of warfare that the Heavenly Father has endowed us with via the Holy Spirit all right let's read that again it says observe and take good heed for thou walkest in peril of thy overthrowing when thou hearest these words I'm sorry when thou hearest these things awake in thy sleep Okay, and that's something that we always got to do, man, understanding and always having in the back of our head that we walk in peril of our overthrowing. Okay. Once again, especially in the times that we're living in, where everybody is at their boiling point. Okay. And if you turn the knob, you know, one, two degrees hotter, the water's going to overflow and it's going to, you know, burn you okay so with that lord's will this video was edifying and straight to the point i just wanted to emphasize the point of just you know applying the scriptures being a doer of the word okay the heavenly father didn't just give us wisdom knowledge and understanding for no reason okay he gave us it to protect ourselves from a society that has been built up of following carnal means okay so with that once again giving praise to our power yahawa bahashem yahawah shai bahashem rachahakudash double honors once again to the apostles bishops and elders of great millstone peace and blessings to the elect